Close your eyes and settle in with the breath. Be with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Have a sense that this is where you belong. And be confident that something good will come of this. There's so many people in the world who feel their actions are meaningless, have no impact on the world at all outside. And that gets them very depressed and very down. But we can be confident that our actions do have a role in shaping our lives, an important role. And they shape our lives in accordance with our intentions. In other words, if we have a skillful intention, the results will be good. They may not be immediately apparent, but they're going to be good someplace down the line. If we act on unskillful intentions, with greed, aversion, and delusion, okay, the result's going to be bad. So here we are trying to train our minds to focus solely on good intentions. This is a form of wealth. The Buddha talks about noble wealth, comparing it with wealth of the world. Wealth of the world, its value goes up and down. It can be stolen easily. It can be washed away. It can be burned. But the wealth that you develop inside the mind is really yours, and it's safe from all those dangers. And it lasts not only through this lifetime, but also in future lifetimes. You can't say that about worldly wealth unless you convert your worldly wealth into something that's in terms of the perfection of generosity. But if we have confidence, we have virtue, learning of the Dharma, we have our discernment. This is a kind of wealth that can hold us through no matter where we go. So we're like people who are going to be forced to evacuate someday. And the ones who can survive a forced evacuation like that are the ones who have skills that they can use in their new, in their new home. People who don't work on skills have nothing, because sometimes the evacuation notice comes so quickly you don't have time to pick up anything, you just go. And all you have are the things you built inside yourself. So trying to build good qualities inside. This is a kind of wealth that doesn't depend on the markets, it doesn't depend on people's liking it or not liking it. As the Buddha said, its value is constant. Its value is reliable. You can trust the Buddha on this matter. Because he's seen from many, many lifetimes that things you do that are good carry through past one lifetime on to the next. Of course, the problem is the, thing, the bad things you do get carried on as well. So you're going to be careful to carry on only the good things. Create only good things to carry on. But when you're confident that this is the case, okay, that's a form of wealth. People who are not confident find it hard to put out the extra effort to do what is right, in terms of being generous and being virtuous and meditating. They don't see the results that will come, and so they don't put in the effort. And as a result, they're poor. And they might say, well, they're going to let go of wanting awakening and let go of this, let go of that. But they let go like poor people. In other words, they don't have anything. Because you want to let go like a wealthy person. You have wealth in your house, and you don't have to carry it around all the time. It's there to draw on whenever you need it. So when you're confident in this, okay, that's a form of wealth. So nurture that confidence. Because it will carry you through all the ups and downs of the world outside.